guys, so if you've seen the title of this video, then I am going to be showing you how to upgrade your student clarinet if you are on a budget. So when I was in high school, I played on a Yamaha 250 and I didn't get a wooden clarinet until I'd been playing for about three or four years and I didn't get a full professional wooden clarinet until I was in university because clarinets, let's be honest, they can be pretty expensive. So I'm going to be talking about different ways you can kind of customize your clarinet that aren't super expensive and mean you don't need to buy a brand new clarinet. Now, the most important thing to make sure that your clarinet is in working order is to make sure that it's had a service on all of the pads are sealing. Now, the way that you can make sure that your pads are sealing is to do a very quick seal test. So to do this test, for example, if you're doing it on the upper joint, put your fingers so they're covering all of the holes. So like you're playing a C, put the palm of your hand on the bottom part of the clarinet and suck in as much air as you can and then release your fingers and see if you can hear a noise or a little pop. So when I hear that pop, that means that the clarinet is sealing properly and it's in working order. So once your clarinet is in full working order, make sure that you are using the correct strength reed. Make sure that your reed doesn't have any chips, it's not broken, it's not super old, it doesn't have any funky colors going on. Make sure you have a nice brand new reed and you're playing on a right strength for you. If you're not sure if the strength is right, if your reed is too hard, then it'll feel really, really hard to get some air through, it'll feel really resistant and you'll get tired really easily. If your reed is too soft, you should be able to feel that if you try to play high notes, you might get some squeaks. You'll get a lot more squeaks in general because you'll be way too tight for the reed. If you're, if you're too tight and you have a soft reed, then you'll completely block off the reed. No air will be able to get through. Um, if you're still not sure if you're playing on the right string, then ask your teacher and they should be able to help you out. So the first thing that you can upgrade that is the least expensive on your clarinet is your ligature. So the ligature that I have on at the moment is just a, the student ligature that I found laying around. It's the only student ligature I have. This ligature has the screws um, on the same side as the reed. And you can tell if your screws are on the right side because the screws of the ligature should always be facing your right when you're facing the clarinet as if you're about to play it. Some ligatures are made to have the screws on the other side and some are made to have them on the same side as the reed, but make sure that your screws are facing your right hand side. So to give you a bit of an idea of what the clarinet sounds like with everything being a student model, no upgrades, I'm going to play you a very short excerpt. quick F major scale. So now I'm going to upgrade my ligature. So as I said before, the ligature can be one of the most inexpensive things that you can upgrade on your clarinet. This ligature is a Rico H in gold and it cost me about 50 Australian dollars. You can get ligatures that cost a lot more money, a few hundred dollars depending on what you choose. But this is my favorite ligature that I've found that's not crazy expensive and it can make a big difference in the sound that I'm hearing while I'm playing. Ligature is the most inexpensive thing that you can upgrade. The most important thing that you can upgrade that will make the biggest difference to your sound is your mouthpiece. Now, mouthpieces usually cost around $200 Australian. That's with the large majority of all different brands. Some common brands that you can get of uh, mouthpieces are Van Doren, Diodario, and Bakun. So I'm going to upgrade my mouthpiece right now. So I just did a really quick upgrade um, of my mouthpiece. This is a mouthpiece that I usually play on, which is the Diodario Evolution. Um, so I want you to see if you can hear a difference between what I just played and the excerpts I'm about to play. I 
even felt a massive difference when I played that. Now, when you're going to upgrade your mouthpiece, don't just order one online. Ask your teacher and your teacher might have a list of suggestions that they think you should try out. Here's a list that I think you should try. But I recommend you should go into your local music store and try as many mouthpieces as you can. Even if you think you found the mouthpiece that you like the most, try a few, a few of the same mouthpiece because sometimes they vary just a slight bit. The things you're looking for when you're trying out different mouthpieces is to make sure that your intonation is correct. So make sure you bring a tuner or have an app on your phone so you can check your tuning. Um, check to see if it feels really free blowing or if it feels more resistant. Check your articulation and see if it's easy. And you should get a pretty good idea pretty quickly on which mouthpieces you like the best. Now, the next most important thing that you can upgrade on your clarinet if you can't afford a brand new clarinet is your barrel. So I'm going to do a very quick barrel upgrade. So this barrel here is the brand new Bakun Lumiere in Coco Bolo wood, and mine is a 66 mil barrel. So if you don't know what the mils mean, on the back of your barrel, you should have a little number and it should be in the 60s. Now, your standard B-flat clarinet usually comes with a 66 millimeter barrel, but you can also get barrels in 65, 64, 67. Now, the reason that you would want to change the number that you're playing on is if you're usually playing too sharp or too flat consistently, you can get a different length barrel, so that um, adjusts the length of your clarinet to fix the intonation. So if I am constantly playing sharp, I might want to get a 67 barrel, so my clarinet's a little bit longer and plays less sharp, or if I'm playing really flat, I could get a shorter barrel. So now you can hear the difference between the student barrel and the professional wooden barrel. And finally, the next thing that you can upgrade on your clarinet to make it sound closer to a professional clarinet is your bell. Now the bell is the most expensive part to upgrade, unfortunately, but if you upgrade it, it can make a big difference to your sound and even the way that you're playing it, you might even be able to feel a difference. So I'm going to upgrade the bell now. Okay, so I just upgraded my clarinet bell to a Bakun Moba bell in Coco Bolo wood and here is the difference in the sound. <laughs> So as well as upgrading your clarinet to change the sound, you can also upgrade your clarinet to make it feel more comfortable to play. So if you're getting a really sore thumb while you're playing, you can put on a little thumb pad to make it more comfortable. And if your arms are getting really sore and the clarinet feels really heavy to play, which can be especially useful for younger students, you can use a neck strap and the Alpha clarinet already comes with a little hook to put the neck strap through. But if you don't have a hook on your clarinet, most neck straps come with a little, a little piece of leather that you can slide over your thumb rest um, so that you can still use a neck strap. So now I'm going to play some excerpts side by side so you can compare the 100% student model to the one that has the upgrades on it. <laughs> so much for watching let me know down below if you guys could hear a difference or if you have any upgrades or questions and i'll see you guys next time 
Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube and follow me on Instagram at lauraclarinetist. If you'd like to see the behind the scenes of this video, make sure to check out my Patreon, the link's in the description. Thanks!